Hey homies, I'm Steven Iwaski from Adventure Yoga, and this is a yoga pose breakdown for Vrikshasana, also known as Tree Pose. In this short video, I'm gonna go through the steps that I use to get into the pose, and hopefully it'll help you learn how you can access the pose, or even how you can teach it to other people. This goes along with a whole blog post that I've written. So the instructions are written out there. I've got a list of the benefits. I've got a, a list of contraindications. That's like injuries or things that you might have going on in your body that might prevent you from being able to do the pose. There's a list of modifications with all sorts of ways that you can like find your way into tree pose if you do have limitations. And then there's the history of the pose as well. It's really a pretty ancient pose. And there's this great story of the, the Ganges being invented by tree pose. But I don't want to spoil it for you. Go read the blog post. It is in the description for this video. Well, the blog post isn't, but there's a link to it. But first, watch the video. Check it out. We're going to start in Tadasana. So if you're going to do this with me, unroll your mat, stand, in the stand up, and I'll meet you there. And we'll do this. All right, so for this yoga pose breakdown of Vrikshasana, or tree pose, we start in Tadasana. I recommend starting with your feet together just to get your balance point as centered as possible so that when we come up into tree pose, it's a little bit, a little bit steadier, maybe, hopefully. So Tadasana is our starting point. Then bend your right knee and turn your right knee out and touch your right foot to the inside of your left ankle. This just gives you a spot to pause and take stock of what's happening. So you bend your right knee, turn your right knee out, touch your right foot to the inside of your left leg. Then we have to get our right foot up higher. We've got to get our right foot as high up on the inside of our left leg as possible. So start by lifting your right foot and then reaching down with your right hand and grab your right foot and pick it up and place it on the inside of your left leg as high as you can, but there is one little note there. We want your foot to be either fully above your left knee or fully below your left knee. You don't want to have your left foot pressing into your left knee. It's not the best thing for your left knee joint or for your right knee joint when it comes to the other side. So have your left your right foot above your left knee fully or below your left knee fully. Just not pressing into your left knee. Okay? Cool. Bring your hands together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra, prayer position. And then push your left leg into your right foot and resist with your right foot. Use that to stretch out through your inner right thigh, stretch out through your right knee. Spread your toes on your left foot, on the foot on the ground. Spread your toes and push down through your left foot. Lift up through your left knee and engage the front of your left leg, your quads. Stretch up through your arms and stretch your arms up overhead. There are a couple of options here with arms overhead. Arms shoulder distance apart, so that's arms coming straight up out of your shoulders. That's one option, Urdhva Hastasana arms. The other option is Urdhva Namaskara arms. So that's hands together in prayer. So to do that, you have to move your arms back a little bit so they come behind your ears. And then squeeze your head with your upper arms and bring your hands together in prayer. I like fingers together here. I think it helps me find a little bit more focus. Squeeze your head with your arms if possible. Straighten your arms wherever you are. Stretch up through your fingers and find a point of focus. I have the camera that I'm filming on, that really helps. It gives me something to like point my gaze at and find my focus. You could find something down on the ground, past the tip of your nose maybe, or straight across from you. Maybe you want to take your head back and look up at your hands, that can be a fun focal point, or drishti it's called. Or maybe you want to take your gaze inside, eyes open and look inside, or even close your eyes and look in. It's tough. But here we are, Vrikshasana, tree pose. Coming out, it's a little easier. Lower your arms and lower your right leg and come back to Tadasana. Stretch your legs straight, stretch your arms straight. 
Vrikshasana is a two-sided pose. We gotta do the other side, right? It's not just one. So, other side, same as the first though. Just flipped. Bend your left knee, lift your left heel, turn your left knee out, and touch the inside of your right leg with your left foot. And then bring your left foot up, reach down with your left hand and grab your left ankle. Bring your left foot up on the inside of your right leg above or below your right knee fully. Bring your hands in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra. And then with your right leg, push into your left foot. And then resist with your left foot and stretch out through your inner left thigh and through your left knee. Spread the toes on your standing foot, on your right foot. And then push down through your right foot. Lift up on your right knee and engage your right quads. Stretch up through your spine and stretch your arms up overhead. Bring your arms so they're about shoulder distance apart and stretch up. Urdhva Hastasana arms. There's the other option is move your arms back a little, squeeze your head with your upper arms, bring your hands together in prayer. Urdhva Namaskar arms. And stretch long, stretch up. Lower your arms, lower your leg. Tadasana. And that's for Chasana. Thanks for practicing. So that's my short little demonstration and step-by-step -step guide to help you understand Vrikshasana or tree pose more. If you've got any questions about this, please just stick it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. And remember, there's a whole blog post that goes along with this video. The, there's a direct link to that in the description for this video, so just go down there and click on it. It'll take you over to Adventure Yoga Online and you can read about this pose and lots of others. If you would like to do a full class with me, there's a full class of mine that you can click on and do now or add to your watch later list. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, come on, subscribe. There's so much great stuff here. Click over there on my picture, subscribe. Thanks, homies. See you soon.